Hello YouTube, today we have a Samsung Galaxy S Plus smartphone and as you see we have a cracked screen and we are going to replace the screen today the back cover is okay, that's good news here we have a new screen okay it's not just a screen, it's assembly the screens here, also we have the entire frame ready to be installed of course we have to transfer some small components like microphones and earphone jacks to this new frame the first step is to remove this back cover but as always they are all glued to the frame they are adhesive underneath this plastic cover so we have to apply heat using a heat gun like this one I'm going to use a razor blade and some playing cards to carefully take off the back cover from the frame Now we have opened up the back cover from the Galaxy S9 Plus. Next step is to remove all the screws that you see. I see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 screws in total. And then I'm going to remove them all. Maybe I'm missing one here. Yeah, first uh, try to remove all the adhesive tapes first. I think there are 15 to 16 screws. I'm gonna re remove them now. Okay, what's next? We need to take off the plastic cover from the back. Uh, use a, you can use a plastic tool like this. Pry up carefully because they are really small components. You don't want to damage it while you take off this back cover. Gently pry up the back cover. Do your best not to damage any components inside. This is not that hard. Taking off the back cover was hard, but this one is easy. But still, be careful. You can damage components. Okay, back cover off. Okay, our goal is to transfer every single component from your old phone to the new uh, frame. That includes your battery, your logic board, motherboard or, lo or logic board. Uh, well, that's the vibration motor. Earphone jack, the bottom logic board, and some other small uh, components. Very first thing you need to do when you open up the back cover like this is to disconnect the battery. Okay, it's disconnected. And then disconnect all the single cables that are attached to the board like this. I think this one is camera. And keep them safe because you need it later. 
all those sensors and cameras you need to keep them safe because you need it just disconnect all the single cables that are connected to the, to the logic board be careful very be careful they are really small and not easy to work with try different angles let me close up I know it's too far away from the phone much better so I have disconnected a camera and a sensor from there disconnect all the cables that you see Now let's get rid of this battery from the frame. If you just use your plastic tool to take it off, it's almost impossible. And as always, I'm going to drop some alcohol around the battery to lose the adhesive underneath the battery, like that. It won't affect your battery performance. It won't damage any of your circuits or the battery. So don't worry. Just apply some alcohol between the gap between the battery and the frame. See? This is how you remove the battery without damaging it. Use 99% alcohol, like me, and look at this, battery is out, good, no damage, that means we can recycle that. It's time to remove the logic board from the Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus frame. I see, uh, I see a screw right here, let me take it off. Before you pry up the motherboard, you must remove the SIM card tray on the top. Use a pin that was provided with your Galaxy and take it out. Then you'll be able to take up the motherboard. I just removed the screw from there. And then it easily comes off. And watch here, there's a flex cable attached in the back of the logic board. So hold this flex cable and, and gently disconnect the flex cable from your main board. Just like that. Do you see the cable right there? I just disconnect it. And here's your main board. Put it away. So let's take up this bottom side main board. I see uh, uh, some screws. One holding the holding down the earphone jack. One is holding down the logic board in place. Let's take off all the screws. Connect the cable with a plastic prying tool. And then let me just put something inside of the. Okay, see? Easy to take it off. And then there are some screws to remove. Let me apply some heat to that area so it will be a lot easier to pry up the bottom watch board okay looks like 
they are out of the frame. Good. Okay, let me transfer the vibration motor. Okay, the motor is off. Let me apply some glue. Let's put this entire bottom side logic board back to its place. the battery make sure you put the cover back otherwise it won't turn on because the motherboard has two contact pins and that two contact pins are connected to your power button so if there's a gap between the pins and the power button pins it won't turn on let me turn it on it's the side there was a quick vibration See Galaxy S9 Plus by Samsung. Okay, it's time to put your back cover back to its place. There's a fingerprinter connector right there. You must connect it to there. And then apply some glue. Then you can close it like that. That's how to replace the entire screen and the frame on Samsung Galaxy S9. Thank you for watching and you can subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Bye!